Hi everybody and welcome to this gorgeous home tour. Which we've just finished styling. So we've got this really stunning circular mirror. It's really oversized and what's fantastic about this is as you can see, this is quite a narrow space. And so really that big extra, extra large mirror has really sort of enlarged this space but made it feel really quite subtle. As a sort of accent to that, we've created a lot of lines down below. So we've got a lovely trinket box here and some real lines with the book and the frame. So I will walk you through now to the living room. The first thing you see in here are these really stunning curtains. You know, this room is facing the garden, so we wanted to make it feel very green, very fresh, and just to really emphasize that garden aspect. In this open space, we've got the living room on one side and the dining room on the other side. You've got this sort of green, emphasized throughout the room. We've also accented those green cushions with um, white trims, different color trims, and then we've even got this lovely yellowy mustard with this gorgeous green at the back. It's a really stunning fabric on this armchair, also in a really lovely green. But it does feel very relaxed and very soft. And now I'm gonna walk you to the star area in the home, in my opinion, which is the dining area. And you've really got to see it front on because it looks absolutely perfect. We have really gone with this organic circular theme. So as you can see, we've created this really stunning unit that I'm just um, standing in front of. Those lines creating that movement. And then, you know, we've got that sat sharply against these really straight lines which I think emphasizes those organic circular lines even more. We've done a lot of styling on the shelves behind us of course and I think it's worked really well. We've got some different sort of or ornamental pieces mixed in with vases, um, some coffee table books, some family photos and the client's own artwork that sits at the top and we really wanted in this home to incorporate the family as much as possible. Their life really exists in here, even though they haven't been here yet to experience living here. I love the fact that here we've designed this circular table. I think, first of all, the table itself is absolutely gorgeous. The color of the wood, that very natural feeling to it. Um, you can see all of the lines in here. It's definitely a more social way to Dine. We've chosen these really lovely arched chairs and just over the top here we've got this stunning light um, which is full of really interesting, unique, quirky squares and again it works beautifully with this table. We have this really lovely half moon console that we've obviously styled here now but if the clients had guests they could use this for salads, for starters. But again I think what we've done that is most interesting is not just use those circular lines, that movement, that nature to pull through the garden, but we've then also sat them very directly against some very art deco straight lines. And I think that just emphasizes that circular movement even more. Next, I will take you to the kitchen. And this is again, another one of my favorites. Everything in here is so detailed. What was really important here, because like I say, it is part of the dining space and the living space, was to create something that felt elegant and charming, but still very different and unique. And I think, you know, we all see so many kitchens that look so alike. We really wanted to create as much depth and detail, but in the smallest of ways. You can see just above this big island, we've got these really stunning, um, pendants. The metal is really deeply hammered and the actual chain that they fall from is sort of really thick and almost industrial like so it really gives this kitchen a little bit of edge that I think it might not have had were it not for these lovely lights. We've chosen this really stunning ceramic top that sort of emulates or looks like a piece of marble, a marble slab 
but it is much more durable and it has this really gorgeous goldish taupe line running through. We've detailed, you know, not just a shadow gap at the top, we've then got an inlay of metal, we then have a chamfer out, and you know, that repeats itself throughout. So this isn't just a normal sort of shaker door, it's a door that we really paid a lot of attention to. Over here we have this really large area where it's great for cooking and it really does feel very spacious. So although it's sort of inset, it does feel like there's a lot of space and a lot of air. This area over here, which is a sort of extension of that island, you know, we've used this really soft timber. We wanted to work with the colors that we used in the main kitchen and not have something um, too unique because if we went for a completely different type of wood, I think it would really fight with all the colors in the room. They wanted really comfortable stools. So you can see we've given them a proper back um, and they are really, you know, proper chairs. I mean, they, they could be normal armchairs, to be honest with you, and they definitely are designed to be, um, but slightly higher for this island. But it's actually a vinyl that's a kind of animal print vinyl, if you have a really close look at it. Some artwork here, bring in some colour into the space, make sure we've still got some greens in there, and, you know, they've worked really well because it's made this space a little bit more fun. Just below over here, we've created these open shelves, which I think work so, so well. We've styled them a little bit, but of course the client can do exactly what they want when they move in. Open shelves, although you don't want them everywhere because in, in kitchens there is a lot of clutter, has created this really nice sort of unique extra touch in this kitchen. This room is, in case you hadn't noticed, a very colorful part of the house. Now this is sort of supposed to be a lounge, play area, kind of family, relaxing area. Funny story, I was given a piece of furniture in this room which I found really difficult to work with at first and I thought there was no way I would be able to manage working with that piece of furniture. But interestingly, it was that piece of furniture that I think pushed my boundaries and ended up in this crazy burst of color. Let me show you the piece of furniture that was the inspiration for really what went on here. Just behind me is this really large cabinet. Now I saw this initially in isolation and I thought, well, how am I ever going to deal with this? Because it is the brightest red I'd ever seen. Initially, it was just sort of placed there on the, you know, on this, with this background, I'm sorry, um, where you've got this big bright white wall and it just looked incredibly wrong. Um, we picked up these really interestingly modern vases, sculptural vases from Paris, paired it with some colorful books, and then we've got these really gorgeous Moroccan robes um, that we found actually in the UK and we've placed them up above just to kind of add in um, to this feeling of um, the beauty of the color and the movement and the fun of the whole space. I was on my way back from Paris and I picked up these super cool Art Deco ashtrays and some colorful books and then we've gone for um, a really lovely kind of bright orange ottoman and to make it feel a bit more elegant and a little bit more classy we've gone for this really lovely border around so everything is bespoke. This was actually an existing sofa that the client had but it was bright red and I really um, didn't love it so we made it a darker navy blue which I think now feels really smart. The sofa's really comfortable, they loved it so why not reuse it. The only thing really in this room that has been kept neutral is the television unit right at the back. And I think it would have been probably too much for us to, you know, pull through even more color in the TV unit. So we've kept that really neutral. But I think even from the rest of the house, this really goes at a completely different angle. And I think that's really lovely that every space in the home has a slightly different story. This being an open space leads on to this little utility sort of kitchen. I think, you know, you want something clean um, and, you know, quite stable in this room where there is a lot going on. So I think this worked very, very well. Just to add in a little bit of that color and pull it through from that fun, colorful living room, we've got this really gorgeous plate which actually belongs to the clients themselves. But I've just placed it here to kind of pull through that color. This is the office space in the ground floor and it really is a testament to um, the design team because I think 
And what they've done here is so sophisticated and elegant. There are these really oversized cabinets making it feel very masculine. And we have all the clients' memorabilia um, on the shelving. A whole wall of football short, shorts, shirts, I'm sorry. He would not be happy if I called them shorts. But we have this whole wall of shirts behind me, this super unique desk. And if you come and have a look at the way this room looks, you know, just from facing it, it is so powerful and you can just imagine him really enjoying this space. It's quite a small room, but it feels absolutely massive when you're sat here. And then on this side, he's got a lovely seating area so anybody can come and sit um, and have a coffee with him or come and have a chat with him. And even the cu cushions have been thought through. So we've got this sort of masculine um, metal detailing on the cushions and you know, the colors are really powerful. Just this fabulous room that has a lot of power in it, but also a lot of memory. Welcome to the master bedroom. Over here, we have a really soft palette. We've got soft touches um, in the cushions, on the trims. We have this really gorgeous laser cut detailing of leather either side of the bed. They wanted to incorporate colors and tones of blues. So we've done that, but we've used, you know, quite a deep blue, but it's quite an elegant blue. We've placed a TV on here and created some really interesting lines and then just some smaller shelving. But if you have a closer look, the shelving has some incredible detailing on it. So this is a sort of scalloped, um, scalloped fabric trim and we've used it um, to look like belts holding up the shelf area. Behind me here, you can see some really wonderful um, curtains with this gorgeous trim detail. I will take you first into her dressing area. Mirrors those two tones of blue that you've got throughout the room. And if I just show you on this cupboard, you'll see you've got those two colors of blue here as frames, and then this sort of pearlescent inlay um, of white wallpaper. You can see the curtains just in front of me, soft, delicate lines with the flowers and the petals and leaves. Okay, next is his dressing room. And again, we wanted to stay with that blue theme and the blue lines and the blue frames, but of course he wanted his dressing area to look a little bit more masculine. So as you can see, everything suddenly extends in terms of size and you know the thickness of the frames. And then we've got this really lovely herringbone wallpaper inside the door leaves walking in to their master gorgeous um, bathroom where we've used these brushed um, bronzish brass colors on the taps, this really lovely gray porcelain um, tile, and then we've got these really gorgeous mirrors and there's lots of lines going through here. I think the design is really, really special. This is the little girl's room. It is a stunning room very soft green and blue turquoise-ish colors. She loves flowers. She's a real girly girl, um, but didn't want to go with the whole sort of pink theme. The joinery is absolutely stunning in here. It's so impressive. We've got this really lovely um, frame detailing in and this wonderful, almost um, a pattern that almost looks like mountains, but in this really soft touch of green. Over here, we have this wonderful um, little very playful bench stool that sits right in front of the bed. We wanted to do something a bit unique with this headboard so it actually has a chamfer um, detail, so little panel in the middle is almost inlaid into the back of the headboard. This was all of our favorite trim in the house on the curtains. We love this trim. And just to finish off the room, we have those two really lovely prints that I think just work really well in this room. Hence this lovely accent of the blue and leaf prints. This is bedroom number one and the parents really wanted to go for a nice strong colour in this room. So we've gone for this really deep, lovely colour of orange. It's a really full, rich colour. 
So what we wanted to do was pair it with um, another colour that we thought didn't fight with that colour but was just as strong and so we've gone with um, a really lovely shade of blue and as you can see the headboard and the cushions together are just really working beautifully to convey that message where you know there's a really powerful tone and colour throughout this room but nothing is too overbearing and it really just feels flawless and seamless. Okay, this is boys room number two and as you can see they stayed with that powerful colour theme and I think it has worked fabulously in here as it did in the other room. This is a sort of dark mix of reds and blues but really really strong colours and I think it's just done wonders in this room. There's a really stunning ottoman I'm sitting in with this bespoke belt just at the bottom and behind me we've got this really fun headboard um, again with these really fun reading lights we didn't want to go for anything standard so we did everything in this room that was fun the boy that is going to be in this room is a super fun boy and he's still quite young so we wanted to make it last but still quite playful this is the guest room which is a really simple paired back room it's very elegant we've used very light colors we didn't want to you know do anything that was sort of too powerful in terms of tone or color because you know depending on who your guest is they might not appreciate having too much color anywhere so this felt very very relaxing very very neutral we love um, the way that we've played with the cushions in terms of you know keeping them neutral but still really interesting so we've got some really gorgeous trims on the cushions just in front of me is this lovely dresser um, which we've just styled but kept really quite neutral and simple and the joinery unit behind you again is really quite large so if you don't have a guest staying for a long time that's absolutely fine but this can be used of course as extra family storage everything was designed bespoke the handles the doors every single thing so it really is a very special space um, and feels very airy and comfortable thank you so much for watching this house tour with me if you want to see more home tours like this click on this playlist linked up here and there are loads more to watch and I look forward to doing many more for you soon.